Damane, can more amfit put to how life re loma ngare nyep dali hahatai. All you have to do is to text comedy C O M E D Y on 202200 303300 Participants are invited in Mandinka, Wolof, and English. Gambi is for years. Coming soon. Just text and we will call you back. In Africa, there are over 200 different languages representing distinct peoples and cultural groups. One cultural figure that is common across West Africa is the Griot. He has knowledge of the culture and identity of a particular ethnic group or people. The 21 string musical instrument known as the Kora is played by great families and the skills are passed from one generation to another. A traditional Kora player is called a Jali and Bajali Suso of the Gambia is one. This Kora was invented by our grandfather called Kore Musa Suso and Kore Musa he got the Kora from a place called Bruford in a village called Sanimentering. And Sanimentering was the main place where the Kora was heritated. So since my grandfather, Kora Musa, he got this Kora from Sanimentering, he brought this Kora to the, to, to, to the family and he said among us. So one of his elder sons called Sundu Suso, and Sundu Suso also has a son called Jalimadi Suso. And Jalimadi Suso is the father of my dad. So you can see. So it means that the Kora, it passed from one generation to another. The origins of the Kora can be traced as far as the days of Sunjata Keita, of the Mali Empire. It has been very instrumental in the promotion of development because Kora players wielded a lot of influence then and even served as advisors to royal families and rulers. One of the first European explorers to set foot in Africa, Mongo Park, described the Kora as a large harp with 18 strings in a book he wrote in 1799. Legend has it that the origins of the Kora can be traced to Koreyang Musa and Jalimadi Woleng. A renowned Kora player in the sub-region, Jaliba Kuyate, who continues to combine ancient and modern tunes, speaks volumes about the Kora. Kora originates from the Gambia. Lately, historians came to believe that the um, majority of them believe that it was Korea Musa, Korea Musa Suso, who invented the Kora. And uh, the thoughts came to him um, here in the Gambia. And uh, it's a lot of spiritual things connected to the Kora. And it was believed that uh, he went to San Emendre for a couple of nights where he went to pray, to pray to have his, 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 his dreams um, being fulfilled, that is to make the Kora. Because he had the same being in mind. You can call it Jola or Mandinka, but very, very old instrument. Um, there is some fishing line used on it, but only about three or four strings. Um, so most of the people know it. Um, also, it's, it resembles the color, but uh, according to stories, reliable sources, Korea Musa um, just copied the same thing, and he said he's going to use more strings. Although he was doing the collection, and uh, some believe that the building took place in the campus. Um, and, and I think this is why um, the color spread up to that area and uh, from the cabos from the two genies also into Mali. 
but um, um, this is the main headquarters. Most historians agree on certain aspects of the history of the Kora, but the exact place and the family that is credited with making the first Kora is a source of disagreement. The debate is raging and will continue to rage. But one thing is certain, the eunuch is still thrilling and entertaining people living well beyond the borders of West Africa. The solvonization of the universe, of the whole world, that is the notes of the whole world, are seven. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Those are the notes. And uh, the Kora has got all these notes in three forms. In treble form, in mid, and in bass. So three times seven is 21. That's why it became 21. And there are so many amazing things. For example, when you come to this table, um, fixing the figures of the universe. The figures of the universe are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whatever figure you may write, you have to use the combination of this. And placing these numbers here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So the only one missing here is zero. This is how you have it situated on telephones, on anything that is universally done on computers. This is what makes the chorus very unique than other instruments because you not find these numbers in this form on any other instrument except the chora. And this one is what we call the ion, the suneo. The ion is the zero, just at the bottom of the chora. And this is where all the strings uh, um, come from. Building a chora is a laborious process and can last days. Lamin Susho inherited the art of Kora from his father. It takes several days to make one, and the process begins with the treatment of the cow skin. This is the white paint. That's the gas we use. 